Hey guys, it's Serene and I'm out here glamping, definitely seated by a creek. There's birds, there's noise happening. Hopefully the audio is okay. A lot of you guys wanted to know what I brought in terms of skincare and beauty items while glamping. I do have access to a communal shower and toilet. It's pretty clean. Definitely a little scary. There's a lot of skunks last night that we kept running into. I am going to show you everything I brought with me. I definitely overpacked a little bit and I'll talk to you guys about the things I feel like I could have left at home versus the things I actually have used. This is my main bag of toiletries and then I have stuff that I just carry on me like SPF, bug repellent. I do have a little bit of makeup items because we are shooting a lot of content. I'm not wearing a full face of makeup, but I'll explain all of that. If you wanna see what I brought with me for glamping, then just keep on watching. This is from Herschel's. A lot of you guys wanna know where it's from. It was a gift. I don't know where they got it, but the brand is Herschel's. First pocket, am I focused? I really hope I'm focused. <laughs> this first pocket, I have a mirror. This mirror came in a PR package from Origins. It's a Reiki mirror not my favorite I like my simple human one a little bit more it's the job done and I'm glad I brought it because there are no mirrors in our yurt if you want to see more about our yurt then just make sure you watch our glamping vlog which should be up soon if main compartment this is what it looks like dry shampoo which is definitely something you want to bring I haven't used it today but I will be to fix up my bangs and very important your toothbrush toothbrush I have is called preserve it's actually made from recycled plastic finding a second life for plastic that otherwise would end up in the landfill I do have a little plastic cover for my toothbrush head just to kind of keep it nice and sanitary and clean and it has the ventilation of it so that it doesn't get all mildewy and gross either. Something that's not in any of my bags, I brought these Lemon and Sage Bliss Refreshing Body Wipes. This is helpful throughout the day. We're going hiking, when you get kind of sweaty just walking around. Also a lot, a lot, a lot of poison ivy and poison oak around here. So just in case I think I get brushed up against it, I'm, I'm trying to avoid it. I've never actually seen it in real life until this trip. So Chris had to point it out to me and like, tell me to stay away it's just good to have just in case not typically a fan of wipes because it does produce more waste but when you're out in nature sometimes you've got to do what you got to do then I have a mini makeup remover cloth makeup eraser cloth this is because I have lash extensions and I just wet this and I gently wipe down my lash extensions it's the only kind of cloth that doesn't tug at my lashes you want to stay away from cotton, cotton swabs, cotton Q-tips, things like that. I do have some makeup wipe removing wipes just in case I don't want to go to the bathroom or for whatever reason. I haven't used it yet though. I've used the body wipes, but I haven't used the face wipes because again, I'm not a huge fan of face wipes. Um, they're not great for your skin and they're not great for the environment. I do have some cotton and what I've been doing with this cotton, because at home I use reusable cotton rounds, we use this as kindling after I get it dirty. I'm just using this with my cellar water or a toner. All of my products are pretty much clean and toxic free. We use it to start the fire and I don't feel as bad. Something I have not used, I didn't think I was gonna use, but I brought it just in case is shampoo and conditioner. And if you watch my recent declutter with me video, you know I have a ton of sample and travel size products I'm trying to get through. I don't know that I would necessarily purchase travel sizes because I think it's more economical to just depot what you're using at home. But since I already have it, I'm gonna try and get the most out of it. I did bring my Briogeo Blossom and Bloom Ginseng Volumizing Conditioner and Shampoo. I don't plan on washing my hair. That's why I have the Love Hair Dry Shampoo, which I quite enjoy. But I brought it just in case, like for whatever reason I needed to. This is the Mermaid Sea Salt Spray from Captain Blankenship. Just in case I wanted to do my hair. You have a perm, so after I wash my hair, I have to put something in it to kind of just like hold the curls. Something I did use is my Josie Moran Whipped Argan Oil Vanilla Bean. This is my body lotion, and I do find that I'm kind of dry. Even though it's not dry out here, I feel like I need hydration. My skincare, my cleanser is the Indie Lee Purifying Face Wash. That's what I use at night. During the day, in the mornings, which you would have seen in my vlog, if it's not up already, it's 
come in is the Bioderma Micellar Water in the Hydrating Formula. Then I go in with my toner, which is the Indie Lee CoQ10. You could skip this step in all honesty, but I, I have it, so I'm using it. Oil, which is my Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Oil. I use this all over my face. And then I go in with my moisturizer. This is the Indie Lee Active Oil-Free Moisturizer. Chris has been using this as well. In the day I'll explain my SPF routine on my face. The other stuff I have in here is I have our Wolverine salve from our shop. This has 50 milligrams of CBD in it. I put this on my tattoo because it's still healing. I also use it on any cuts, any, any scrapes, anything like that. It helps your skin heal a little bit quicker. I have a mini Kapari deodorant. This is one of my favorite deodorants in a travel size. I have my Agave lip mask in a travel size and then I have the Kapari lip love. This is my lip balm. I actually need some right now. I should probably drink more water. I don't feel like I'm drinking enough water. I know this seems like a lot, but I, like I said, I did not use a lot of these items. I was just being overprepared. I have Q-tips mainly for Chris. I have a thing of jojoba oil, which is great at removing grime, SPF, makeup. It's also just great at hydrating the skin. You can use this for so many different things. Chris uses it all over his face, all over his beard. I use it to remove grime like as a double cleanse. I use it to hydrate if I feel extra dry. You can use it as a body oil as well. I have my body wash. It's the Melon Gets Bergamot Body Wash. And I have a hand sanitizer from Purell. What's in the main compartment of this bag? There's also the side compartment. And the side compartment is just a bunch of hair ties and hair clips and my floss, Coco floss. I have some earplugs in case we have noisy neighbors or whatever, you just, I always keep those in here. A bunch of hair items. I have a scrunchie. I have a headband for when I'm doing my skincare to keep my bangs out of my face. I have one lone um, bobby pin, and then I have another extra hair tie. So that's this. I do have toothpaste, but Chris took it out. We use the Le Bon toothpaste, and the one we're currently using is the Black Current Travel Size. Chris loves that toothpaste. He literally will like steal it from me. He, the other day he was even like, do we have more Le Bon toothpaste? Because I really don't like the other ones we have now. Le Bon's just better. So he's a bougie bitch. Just kidding. So that's the toothpaste we use. It's all natural. It's from France. It tastes amazing. It foams nicely. And then I have my wooden comb. To now here's my sort of makeup case. Again, haven't used most of this, but the two things I have been using are my SPFs. This is my PCA Skin Sheer Tint Eye, SPF 30, physical SPF all around the eyes, especially all around this area. You want to protect from the sun. My Sheer Tint SPF 45, love the stuff. Um, I do have links and discount codes for PCA Skin in the description box. This is, again, physical. It's got a nice tint. I apply it on camera for you guys a lot one of my all-time favorites I don't wear foundation in these types of situations and on most days I don't either these two protect me something I do use a lot are my brow products so this is the Kimiko super fine eyebrow pencil this is what I've been using it's also in my makeup bag Mondays which you can find every week in my weekly vlogs on Sundays where I update you guys about my makeup bag what I'm rotating in testing out. I give everything at least a week trial before giving you an in-depth review. This is in the shade Coffee. Thrive Cosmetics Instant Brow Fix Semi-Permanent Brow Gel. That's what I'm also using. I just like to fill in my brows. I feel a little more alive. Not necessary, just extra. A facial mist. This is Lila B, a glow face mist. I haven't used it yet because I haven't found the need to. This is something I use literally every day. This is just a clean spoolie to comb out my lash extensions. I have been trying this out. This again is part of my Makeup Bag Mondays. This is the Alginus Color Correcting Powder. Zuzu Lux Bronzer, which is also a part of my Makeup Bag Monday. These two items I have not used, but I brought. This is a powder foundation from Lila B in B Natural. And then this is a lip and cheek tint from Lila B in Be Lovely. What I have used is my Tata Harper Very Sweet Cheek Tint on my cheeks just to give me a little bit of color. My Gabriel Cosmetics Liquid Radiance as part of my Makeup Bag Monday in Rose Gold and I did use that today just to see how that would look on camera. I have a brush that's the only brush I brought from Lila B. It's a retractable 
powder brush. Finally, I have my eye drops in here because I get really dry eyes. When it comes to bug repellent, you guys know I'm a mosquito magnet and I'm highly, highly allergic to bites. If I get five or more bites, I technically should go to the doctor. So what I've been doing is all over my body, I apply the two-in-one from Greener Ways Organic. It's their bug repellent and SPF. This is a non-nano zinc SPF, mineral physical SPF. It's not going to absorb into your bloodstream. It's non-nano zinc, meaning it's not going to cause any damage. It's completely toxic free, completely natural, very effective. There can be a little bit of a white cast with this product. So what I like to do, I personally like to mix it with more body oil, like the jojoba oil to just get it to blend in a little bit more. I don't find it to be an issue if you're out outdoors because you start sweating. It's another thing is it smells really nice because it doesn't have that overly powerful citronella. Oh my gosh, there's animals out here. There's not this over overly powerful citronella scent and I like it because it does rub in nicely. While you might see a little bit of a white cast, it rubs in very, very nicely and blends nicely and feels good on the skin, which is important to me. Two other products I have that I just carry in our backpack are the deep free bug repellent from Greener Ways Organic. And this is the regular one, and then this is the kids one. Both are safe for kids, both are safe for pets. The only reason there's a kids version is if your child is incredibly sensitive and doesn't like the feel of things on their skin, go for the kids one. Um, I've used both on myself, on Chris, as well as on Dolly and Cooper. They work really, really well. Like I say, I'm very, very sensitive. I'm very much a magnet and these have been fine for me. I also like the way they feel. They're not super sticky. It doesn't feel super greasy. It's just really easy to use. And I do feel like I need to reapply it if I sweat a lot, but I love them, so I just keep them on hand. They also have a very large bottle that I have. That's what I use in the house or in our yurt to spray down my shoes, my clothes, my socks, as well as my entire body, just to be extra safe because when we were in Mexico, I forgot my ears and I literally got tagged by my ears within like two seconds. I'm seeing a lot of bugs and stuff and I'm not fully like protected yet. So I'm going to end this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. I upload three new videos every week here and I will see you guys back here. Bye.